the family of Channel 4 News cameraman Abdullahi Farah Dugger has lived the story of Somalia's descent into chaos. There's huge fighting is going on near, near my house and as you hear the bullet, I think it's like we are under attack. This wasn't the future they imagined in 2006. Dugger filmed fighters known as the Islamic Courts Union, battling the warlords who had ruled Somalia for 15 years. Yeah. They were ultra religious and disciplined. After they took power, the women of Mogadishu swept peaceful streets. Dugov, like most Mogadishu residents, was amazed. 100% they provide us a peace and you can drive your car in the middle of the night without no fear. Nothing you have to worry about this. This is completely, this is the past time in Mogadishu. In these pictures, broadcast for the first time, he chronicled the Taliban-style rule they brought destroying drugs and alcohol, and blaming Somalia's traditional enemy, Ethiopia, for all ills. This thing comes from Ethiopia. It's alcohol. It was made in Addis Ababa. Ethiopia is the enemy of Allah. Somali women were forced to dress like Wahhabi Gulf Arabs. It was the price they paid for peace. They chanted, we want Islamic law, not democracy. It was not to last. Ethiopian troops invaded with American backing. For journalists, it was the beginning of a new period of danger. Ethiopian soldiers mingled with the residents. There were spies everywhere. If you are a cameraman, try to get some pictures in Mogadishu. It's quite dangerous. It is the most dangerous I have ever experienced in Somalia. You never know who's, who's your enemy. You never know who's your friend. Northwest of the capital, Dugov was taken to see the bodies of 16 men. They had allegedly been killed by Ethiopian troops, angered by an insurgent attack. From his house, he filmed explosions on the horizon. Off camera, his wife said it was time to leave town. I was stuck in my house, and suddenly one day my wife said, look, we cannot stay here anymore, so we, we must move here. And we tried to get out of the, the, the fighting area. And when we drive a meter of nowhere, there is we have huge fight in front of us. Dugov won awards for these pictures, filmed while trying and failing to get his family out. It's February this year. Burundian peacekeepers arrive to join Ugandans, part of an African Union force to support Somalia's transitional government and bring calm. The Dugov family has moved house, but now the African Union base next door has become a target. 13-year-old Haroon puts his fingers in his ears. He can't bear it. Seven-year-old Amina is comforted by her mother. She can't understand what's going on. Insurgents are attacking the AU and trying to drive out the Ethiopians. Eventually, Dugov manages to arrange for his wife, Diho, and the children to leave Mogadishu. Alone now, he films the spiralling violence. A bomb in Bakara Market wreaks horror. The dead lie in the dust where they fall. Anyone can be killed at any time by anybody. A family, mother, father, four children fall victim. The only survivor is the grandmother. In hospital, children. 
injured by mortars, grenades, bullets, shrapnel, children who may or may not survive. Sometimes the hospital was full and most of the wounded people I met there was the ch children. Eventually, even Dugov dare not leave the house. He's trapped. His dial-up internet connection is slow, but it still works. A friend films him. They can't go out. There's nothing to do but think. At least the family are safe. He goes out into the yard. A mortar has hit his car and the water tank. He has nothing left to eat or drink. You never know when the mortar will hit your room. And nobody knows. No one help you if you get injured, if you get wounded. No one. There's no hospital there. You know, if, if someone want to help you, how could he help you? Because he cannot cross the all front line. A lull in the fighting. Dugger films families fleeing Mogadishu. He's survived. He too is leaving. After negotiation, the Ethiopians will withdraw. The Islamists, now more extreme than ever, are on the outskirts of Mogadishu again. Another circle of Somalia's violent history has turned. <laughs>